I'm leaning toward the Eagles to win the division again. That's very difficult. Very difficult to go back to back winning that division. Um, Nick Foles will be tested this year. They, they have tape on Nick Foles. He was a guy that played 10 games last year, mm -hmm. but they still have a good running attack. I want to see how they make up for Deshaun Jackson. He was the vertical threat in this offense. They can say, well, we got guys, but they haven't done it yet. I like the acquisition of Sproles. That will help them uh, tremendously. Uh, so when you look at this team defensively, they struggle there. They struggle at the back end of their defense. I think, I think they've done some things to try to solidify that. They went out and got uh, Marcus Smith, another rusher, to help them. So I, I'm going to say both these teams right now, I'm picking to win the divisions, both of them, the Eagles and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, then which one would go farther in the playoffs? Oh. Just gut feeling right now. Built for the playoffs. Built for be... the playoffs, I would say the Steelers. Okay. I would say the Steelers. Stephen A. I'm rolling with the Steelers. Uh, there's no doubt that I think that they still have the position. Uh, uh, listen, Peter's coming back. I think that's going to help Flacco. Mm. Um, and Ray Rice, I think, after all of his offseason, uh, you know, everything he went through, I think he's going to come back to something to prove, assuming that shoulder yeah, heals. Yeah, Okay? Um, and I never underestimate Baltimore's defense with no. Harbaugh there. I, exactly. I just can't do it. The Browns simply ain't ready. They just seem to be discombobulated. I'm not sold on Petten yet. I know he knows defense. I know that defense is going to be big time. I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a loss as to how they're going to score points. I look at the Bengals. The Bengals should be the best team in the AFC North. I'm not a believer. Um, I think one of the things that people have not gotten, have not really grasped, is that Marvin Lewis has lost Jay Gruden and Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. You got two now, obviously. Zimmer. Uh, Zimmer, Zimmer, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Zimmer, I'm sorry, not Zimmer, I'm Zimmer. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you, Zimmer's in Minnesota. I look at, you lost two coordinators. Now, Hugh Jackson is no joke, and I think that he's going to be a positive presence and a motivational force on the offensive side of the ball. I'm not sure about them defensively. I know they have the talent, but sitting in this chair, Coach, and I'm glad you're here because you are a black man who was a coach in the NFL, I have to say this. In the interest of fairness, I have been on the record saying Marvin Lewis should not be a head coach. I've heard you say this that. This man has been the head coach for 11 years. I know. I've heard all the horror stories about the conditions he's had to work under and the influence of, of, of Mike Brown and how he gets in the way. And I understand that. But in the end, on the field of play, you have had the talent on far too many occasions to be an 11-year head coach and have never won a play, not one playoff game. If this were anybody else, white, Hispanic, anybody, we would have said, you know what? You might not yep. need to, you might not, you might deserve, you might not deserve somebody saying you don't deserve to be a head coach anymore, but you got to get the hell up out of here. <laughs> And that's where I am with Marvin Lewis. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be a head coach. I'm saying in the city of Cincinnati, this man has come up short. Sure. And I have no reason to believe that anything is going to be different because you've never shown me that anything is going to be different. And by default, from that alone, I'm rolling with the Steelers. <sighs> Boy, this is a tough one. Until I saw that story about, what was it, okay. 8 o'clock yeah. last night? Yeah. I was bullish on the Steelers, mm -hmm. and now I'm not so sure because, Coach, you know, football above any other team sport is a unity game. Yes. And that rebuilt foundation in Pittsburgh, and it's still being rebuilt as we speak, has now a big crack in it. They added a veteran player who finished strong last year from New England, but there was a reason that Bill Belichick didn't fight to keep LeGarrette Blunt as a Patriot. And that Patriot, expatriate, as they say, quickly bonded with a second-year running back in Pittsburgh, and I don't know what I don't know who who led who down the wrong path, but all of a sudden, they're in the same car and they're busted. And it's a early blow to the Steelers. Can they recover? I, I assume they can, but will will Dan Rooney step in and say both of you are gone? Will Mike Tomlin? suspend one and then one for the first two games. Well, Goodell, I don't know how this is going to play out in the sure. court of law, but will there be a suspension later in the year? Th these are d damaging questions I'm asking about the Pittsburgh Steelers. But my gut is still, 
I think Pittsburgh can have the better year because of two reasons. Roethlisberger over Nick Foles, number one. And number two, the, the Steelers play what's ranked right now as the eighth easiest schedule. That, only that, six, you only know. six teams that from 2013 yeah. have won okay. records. So, right. so you would think, and you look at their first five games, they got Cleveland at home, then they do have to go to Baltimore, and then at Carolina, Bucks, Jags. Yep. That they could do okay even if they're fighting through a, yep. some kind of suspension, I think. But you've got speed and you've got youth, which was a problem with the Steelers the last two years, which is why they ended up 8-8. Eight and eight. You lost Emmanuel Sanders, okay? He's gone, but you still got Antonio Brown. You got Wheaton now as your number two. You still got Heath Miller. You still got Big Ben Roethlisberger. Yep. You've got an offensive coordinator with Big Ben. They seem to be in concert with one another. And let's not even remotely underestimate the leadership of Mike Tomlin on the field. Now, when you walk off the field, obviously, so you, you, you're, you're on your own. But on that field to play, remember how the Steelers started off 0-4? And, and I never forget, Skip, those guys are coming off and they're losing to Minnesota and they're walking off the field and Tomlin's like, they're looking at everybody, like yeah. looking into their eyes. Let me see who's going to give up. Let me see who's going to quit on this season. We're going to get you out of here. And sure enough, they ended up winning six of their last eight games. I look at that, Skip, and I say, ain't too many – dudes like this man this man is special yep. and if anybody could get them in right right get the ship right I believe in Mike Tomlin